and pants. <coughs> I might have had long underwear too, and socks, and like three different tops, a rain jacket, a beanie. I slept in all of it, and I was still cold in that 20 degree bag. So I actually emailed him and asked him for a refund, and he said, Oh, yeah, the down is just kind of funny sometimes. Sorry, it's been more than 60 days. Um, so that, that was kind of unfortunate. The down is funny? He said you have to like move the down around, which I'm not an idiot. I did that. <laughs> and I was still cold. So you can see where the down is. Yes. And uh, that was actually, I didn't talk about that at all in my video, but that was one of the hardest parts, was how cold that was. I was cold all the time. And that night it snowed. I was actually hallucinating when it was so cold. I, it was really weird, actually. I wrote, you looked much different that next morning than every other. That, yeah, the were good that kept me warm. So, yeah, so. Did you have anything to do with your body fat being so low? I'm sure that didn't help. And, <laughs> and I was, I'm sure I was a fat burning machine out there. Because I was Especially cold. Especially if it's cold. Cold yeah. the whole time. Although, you know what's interesting? And so, um, I've got how much to tell the group about that. So, the more you do endurance sport and the more you eat fat, you can kind of train your body to burn its own fat stores better. And, and I'm a nutritionist and I've been experimenting with that, so I'm, I'm a really good fat burner. And I went out there on purpose burning fat because we all have like 30,000 calories of stored fat no matter how many you are. So, I was just doing the math. The less food, the less you know what I mean. I had to carry less food. The more, if I could use my fat, it would be less food on the trail to carry on my back. So, for the, like, the next three weeks, I could tell that I wasn't burning fat as well during my long workouts. I would get hungry again. So, I had to eat more carbs than I was used to on the trail just because I was, I mean, you do need carbs. I was running 14 hours a day. So eating more carbs made my body want more carbs. So it took me another three weeks when I got back to kick back into good fat burning. Were you using goos and gels or bars? And what was this it? is exactly what I was using. So I had about uh, a little less than 4,000 calories a day, and I had trouble getting it all in. So I had pemmican that John Marshall made me, which this is not the pemmican you can buy. This is just rendered beef fat and some of its protein. It's like pure energy. And it's disgusting. If you <laughs> just bear with me, it's, if you took a bite of it right now, it would gross you out. Out there, I wanted it. I wanted more of it. My body wanted it. So the, the things that I really craved were pemmican, spiz, which also doesn't have an appetizing name, <laughs> but it's a it's a meal replacement powder that was developed for cancer patients that a lot of ultra endurance athletes use. So it's carbs, protein, fat, electrolytes, you can live on it. Um, and I don't particularly enjoy this here either. In fact, I don't usually use it in my workouts, it's too high in carbs, but out there, it was like candy. I mean, I wanted it really badly. It's just, because this is um, 1,000 calories in this bag. So I would let myself do that at lunch, and then at night, like as a dessert. And then I had a variety of bars, rise bars, which are a lot of protein, whey protein. I took four of these raw revolution bites, which were like my goo, and I actually use these here. Um, I took pro bars, which are gaining popularity, you can find these anywhere, but they're not gluten free and they tore me up. <laughs> so after eating like one, I decided not to eat anymore. And I picked up a resupply at Beer Trail Ranch about halfway, and I gave away all my bar. That was a crazy place. <laughs> because I was there a day before they closed for the season. So there had been hundreds of hikers pass through there. And they had probably 50 buckets just full of food from people who left stuff they didn't want to carry. And then there were other hikers that were going through everything looking for stuff. And you know what? There was not anything salty. When you're out there, you want salt. Everybody's like looking for Doritos and wild animals. 